Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Season 1 finale of the Tottenham Hotspur Career Mode here in FIFA 22. In this episode, the final episode of Season 1, we are going to be playing the entire month of May. Well, not playing the entire month of May, but working our way through all the games in the month of May. And we have a few things to keep our eye on. Taking a look at the Premier League standings, you'll see that with four games left to play, we do have a four-point lead on Liverpool, but we do have a game in hand, so we could stretch that to as many as seven. And we actually do play Liverpool in this episode, which will be one of the two games that we play. And then we are also taking a look at the Golden Boot race. Right now, Son has a full a four-goal lead over Mo Salah, and we're, we're going to try to get him that award as well. So uh, a couple things to keep our eyes on in this episode. Here's what our calendar is looking like for the final month of the season. We have a home game here against Leicester, which I will be simulating. We've already played them once earlier. I know I've already played Liverpool once, but this could be the game that decides the Premier League, so we'll play this one regardless. Uh, if by that point we haven't clinched the Premier League or if we're still in it, then we'll either play one of these last two games against Burnley or Norwich, or depending on if we've already won the league uh, by the Liverpool game, then we'll just uh, simulate those last two and wrap up the season there. Just a quick squad update. In the last episode, we did have a very uh, severe injury happen to Harry Kane. He suffered the same fate that Steven Bergvine and Tongi Nobele have earlier in the season and tore his ACL. So he'll be out for the rest of the season and probably the beginning of next season as well. Luckily, we do have a pretty uh, competent backup here in Dominic Calvert-Lewin who will get you know the starts for the last four games of the season. And then our bench, we had to bring on uh, this guy John here, and you see, of course, Ndombele, who's already gone down in overall, and then Harry Kane is now on the reserves as well. The first game of the episode is against Leicester. They do sit in sixth, so they do have some European spots to play for. Like I said, I am just going to quick send this one. Our first team is full strength, of course, apart from the injuries. I'm hoping that we can get at least a point and uh, get five points ahead of Liverpool before we play them in the next game. And we get a win. We get a 1-0 win. Dominic Calvert-Lewin is uh, doing his job. He gets a goal in the 38th minute, and that puts us seven points ahead of Liverpool. On the day of the Liverpool match, we do have a loan offer here for one of our uh, youth squad, or not, I guess he's not youth squad anymore, but one of our guys we're looking to loan, Tiber uh, Tiberiu Movila. It is a loan to buy offer, so we will delegate this, and we just want it to be a loan deal, and we'll see if we can get him some game time next season. We do have some player contracts that are expiring. They're all for young players who I could honestly, you know, give or take. If they if they don't want to sign, if they want to leave, I'm not too bothered. I have been getting quite a few, um, you know, emails from Dylan Markandy who wants a contract extension. I'll see if I can uh, extend some of these guys just to have them to either loan them next season or sell for some money. The one player who I would like to extend his contract, but... Um, I guess they don't have the uh, the option to make it permanent is Golini, so uh, I'll just have to wait until next season to see if I can go in for potentially him again, but definitely uh, another goalkeeper. Here we go for the second time this season. It's us against Liverpool. It is a first versus second matchup. If we look at the table, that win against Leicester gave us a seven-point lead, meaning that either a draw or a win here at Anfield will secure us the Premier League. We're going to go for that win, though, and, and you know make it emphatic. And I'm looking forward to having a good game here. It looks like their squad is pretty unchanged from the last time we played them. The same midfield. I don't remember if Gomez started or not. That might be the only difference. But it's a full-strength Liverpool team. I'm anticipating them doing the high press like they did against us last time. If I can break them down again like I did before, then you know things could be breezy. But if I'm struggling or if I'm a little rusty, then this could be an interesting game. All right, let's go, boys. A single point will do it. It'll be tough. Anfield is notoriously tough, but this is the, the the moment that champions are made. This is where you gotta clutch up and just get it done. This is what we need. We gotta get it done. As the players walk onto the pitch, led by Van Dyke and Hugo Lloris, we wanna make sure that Hugo can lift that Premier League trophy today. We wanna see this trophy being lifted at Anfield in front of their fans. I would love nothing more. Alright, here we go. Potentially the biggest game of the season to clinch the title. Mane has the ball in the corner here, but Emerson will steal it. Mane will go in with a pretty aggressive slide tackle. And it already looks like, shoot, it already looks like they're playing that high-pressure game. So if we can just make the clean passes like we did against them last time, we should find some space. Well, Salah has played it into Vabinho here in the middle. We got to stay in front. And they've scored. That came out of completely nothing. I don't even know what happened to Hugo there. He just like fell over. I tried to stay in front of them here, but I was struggling to switch players. And I think that's poor from Hugo. I think Hugo could have done a little bit better. Let me see if, if we get a better angle here. 
Uh, he's just a little slow on the reflexes there. That's all right. We go down early, but we got time to bounce back. They're pulling us all out of position. My center backs are just getting pulled out, and they're finding space in behind. That's a good claim from Hugo, and we'll try to break. Oh, it's just a little too heavy for Hoiberg, I think that was, who shouldn't even be there. And now Hugo has to make a save. So far, I'm not having much luck breaking down their uh, pressing. They're, they're taking advantage of it. Lacroix has the ball, who is quite quick, actually. I'm just going to sprint past Van Dyke and keep going with the ball here. Oh, but Son's there. Oh, just a dally down the ball too long, but we have the numbers. Has to be. He's offside. Why can't we do that quicker? Why can't we play it quicker? Oh, it was perfect. Perfectly worked. Just a little too late on my part there. Mosala has just skipped past Regulon here. He's found room. He'll cross it. Hugo should claim easy or not. I guess he'll just decide to punch and Lacelso has fallen over. Hugo, please just grab that. Thank you. Now Calvert Lewin's in. That was well timed. And this was Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I tried to find Son down on the bottom, but it got blocked. That was my fault. There you go, Pierre. Shoot. And we'll try to get it out, but they're just pressing us. What a block from Sanchez. That could have been awful. And I can't get the ball out again. Another block. And they've scored again. I just don't understand what's happening right now. I made so many good blocks, and then the one loose touch that we have a chance to break. And then it's just an incredibly lucky finish. Now we're down two. A, a huge hill to climb now. And they've hit the post again, and I, I actually don't know what's going on right now. None of my passes are going where they're supposed to. All my players are on loose touches. What's just happened here? Is he offside or what? All right, he must have been offside. I just can't find, and I'm going to turn the ball over here again. I just can't find the room to make the passes. And then when I get the ball in space, my players are completely isolated. And see that? If that's a better ball, Deli Alley's in. But we just can't find those last passes. You're in. You're faster. I see some guys tracking behind. Oh, that's so frustrating. Just we're one pass away. Sanchez has had an awful game. He just lost a header, and Hugo has had to make a, a wonderful save. It could be three. That could have been three, but Hugo actually makes a good save there. We can't clear the ball off the corner, and Gomez has put it over. All right, well, that's halftime. I really don't feel like we deserve to be down by two. I think we've had some good chances. We just can't find the final balls. Um, you know, in the final third, I feel like my passing has been rusty, and their pressing has just gotten them some lucky opportunities. I'm not going to make any changes. I feel like this lineup's working well, and I think we can we can pull two back in the second half. I'm confident. Regulon's finally found some space here. Can he cross it in? He can. It's poor. Nothing comes of it, but we'll get it back to Regulon. We'll play it into the middle to Son, who loses the ball to Robertson. Deli's found Son. He's got space. Finish that. Of course, it's hit right at Allison. Of course it is. Cover Lewin stolen the ball from Trent, who gives it pretty much right back. Delhi. Oh. We've got we're getting the chances. We're getting the chances. We just can't we can't finish them. And that's a terrible corner. Sanchez should get there first though. And that's horrible. I'm terrible at free kicks, so I'm probably just gonna pass it here and have a go with Lacelso. Oh, well, it kinda worked, but not quite. It's really hard for me to defend right now because the game keeps selecting the player I don't want to be controlling on defense. And then, again, that happens, and it's really frustrating. And that'll be their ball, of course. The game wants me to bring on Brian Hill for Hoiberg. I'm not going to do that right now. That's not the position change I want. I'll probably bring on Brian Hill for, um, I don't know, maybe Lacelso in a little bit, and I've turned it over. 
He's not paying attention. Hugo claims. And we move. And that'll be a pass to no one again. Of course. Before Liverpool take this corner, I'm going to make a sub. I'm going to take off Deli Alley and bring on Brian Hill, who's got a little bit more pace. Maybe he'll find some uh, more space in behind their defense. Calvert-Lewin up top. Van Dyke is too strong. They'll work it back to Allison. We can apply the pressure. Nope. They've worked it out. Son has a bunch of space here. See, now this is a chance that I'm, I'm not going to finish. Oh, he does finish it, though. Near post finish for Son. I thought I was going to screw that up. I'm pleasantly surprised that went in. We've got one back. Let's get one more. I knew that with all these players bombing forward, I was bound to make the wrong pass, so I just decided to shoot it. Um, I meant to finesse it far post, but he finessed it near post with his left foot. But, you know, I guess whatever works. We have one back. Let's go get the other. They've turned the ball over in the midfield, but we don't have too many numbers forward till now, but that's the wrong pass. Oh, Brian Hill is in. He's got the pace. Come on, Brian. Finish that. How is that right at him, and how does he also just catch it? I don't understand. We got Emerson making a run here. We'll probably cross this. Tassan. Oh, it's cut out well. Let's head that back in. Brian's got it again. To Emerson. Oh, and it's wide. Yeah, Emerson's not good at shooting. We're going to we're gonna keep with this lineup. I mean, we have a week break after this. All our guys should be healthy. I don't have the bench depth right now to feel comfortable taking off any of my starters. So I'm just going to keep him on for the duration of the rest of the game. Sanchez with the towering header. And that's not who I wanted to pass it to, but I guess it'll work. And Sun is in again. I see Brian Hill up top. This could be a sweaty goal of dreams. It is. What a finish. We've worked it back. I don't care that it's a sweaty goal. We've deserved it. We do not deserve to drop points in this game. We deserve to lift the Premier League trophy here at Anfield. And that could be the goal that does it. Son has been doing wonders out wide. He scored his first one like that. The second one he squares to Brian Hill, who can't miss from there. And that could be the goal that wins us the Premier League. Let's go. We got five minutes to hold on. They're going to make a change here. Joe Gomez is coming off. Are they bring on an attacker? Nope, just another center back, so that must be for fitness. All right, we just got to watch. We don't want to concede any set pieces. That's for sure. Brian Hill's found some space. He'll play it into Son, who will play it back to Brian Hill, who's on for a double. And he can't, but Son finishes. We're not only going to get one point, we're going to get all three. What a comeback. Son and Brian Hill, the architects of what could be the Premier League winning game. Oh, what a range of emotion in this game. Holy crap. So I did. I tried to do basically the same thing with Brian here that I did with Son on the first one, but that one just hit the post, and we get luck on this one. We get a little bit of luck. Son in the right spot at the right time. Allison with the last-minute dive. Oh, so close, dude. Almost had it. And I think it's only fitting that Son scores the goal to end the game to lift us the trophy, I think, hopefully. Ref, blow that whistle. We want to hear it. We're into stoppage time. There's only three minutes of it. We've already had two. I mean, we don't really need to worry about conceding because a point will get us a title anyways. But a win, a straight-up win would actually be nice. If we can just hold on here till the end. Just boot it. Ref. Is that it? Is it? Is Did we get the trophy? I can't tell. It looks like it. I think we've only gone and done it. Three goals from Sun and Hill. And I think we're about to see the trophy lifting here. Look at those celebrations. We knew it had to be. We knew we weren't going to bottle it. It didn't look like we were going to get it done in this game, but this team has championship qualities. This team has champions. And I guess they're not going to show us lifting the trophy. Maybe that'll be at home. 
I guess it looks like I might have to play the next home game then. Well, at any rate, we've secured the Premier League title, but I think we might have to play the next home game in order to actually lift the trophy. I'll, I'll take a look and see. And here we have confirmation with only two games left to play, meaning there are only a maximum of six points on offer. We are ten points ahead of Liverpool, so they cannot mathematically catch us. It looks like um, Man City and Chelsea are going to be battling it out for that last Champions League spot. Um, and Leicester, Arsenal, and even Southampton and Wolves, and maybe Aston Villa battling it out for the last couple Europa League spots. Taking a look at the bottom of the table, I remember it being pretty close last time, although it looks like Brentford have for sure been relegated, Norwich, uh, if Watford get, you know, basically a result in their next game, Norwich are probably down, but it looks like Newcastle is probably the only other team that could avoid relegation. And with Sun scoring and Salah not scoring, here's the updated golden boot tally with two games left to play. Sun is on 28. Salah has only 22, so it's looking like Sun will get it. Um, I'm probably going to rest him in the next game. Uh, it would be nice to get him to 30. I'll rest him in the next one, but then uh, I'll do the starting lineup for the final game of the season, and maybe he'll get uh, to 30. That would be awesome to see. Because I do want to see us lift the Premier League trophy, and you must only be able to do that at home, I am going to play this next game here against Burnley. It is a game I would have normally simmed, but, you know, I obviously just told you why I want to play it. We are going to play a heavily rotated starting 11. You'll see there are only three players from our normal starting 11 in this lineup. Regulon on the left, Sanchez at right center back. And I would normally start Golini, but because I want Hugo to have the honor of lifting the trophy, we're going to start him. I normally would have put Golini in, but because I want Hugo to lift it, I think he deserves it. He'll start for this game, which will probably be his last start of the season. And then the last match will just sim with the uh, second team. So um, I'm not taking this match too seriously. We're going to be lifting the trophy hopefully at the end anyways. So we're just going to have some fun with the second team here. Burnley are in 16th right now. I don't know if they've mathematically clinched promotion. You might have to rewind and, and look at the table that I was just looking at a few seconds ago. So this could potentially be a really big game for them. So, you know, they're not going to take it lightly. I did also see before this game as it was starting that um, that last match against Liverpool got me as a manager my 50th win, which I think is a really awesome number to get in your first season. And it's only going up from here. And it looks like Burnley will get this match kicked off. Hopefully the match that will allow us to lift the Premier League trophy at the end. And I just saw a guy on the ball who I really want to wa uh, have us watch lift the trophy. Granite Xhaka, former Arsenal player. Lifting the trophy in front of him is going to make it feel all that sweeter. Dane Scarlett on the ball. We'll play it into, I don't know who that was. That was a good block from Burnley there. I'm actually looking forward to using Brian Hill a little bit more um, maybe next season after he came on off the bench and was really instrumental in, in getting us that comeback win against Liverpool. I'm excited to see what he can do. We are in the process of converting him to a, a center attacking mid. He is only listed right now as a left mid, I think. And so when we you know get that conversion done, hopefully he'll be getting the full match stats, and that's a good save. I think that was Dane Scarlet with the shot. Oh my god, they've just worked an amazing goal. I wasn't talking because I didn't think anything would come of it. But Camarasa has just smashed home an amazing volley. I don't know why he was just left wide open there. And look at that volley. Good contact. Hugo's got no chance. I can't say it's a really deserved 1-0 lead, but we haven't done a whole lot either. So I can't say that it's not deserving as well. Brian's found some space. 1-2. And that the give, give and go was a little bit too heavy. But Brian Hill is probably the one who's going to find us the most space in this match. I think he's the highest rated player in the game behind Regulon and uh, Hugo. So he's going to be our main attacking threat going forward. Man, Scarlett's been making some good runs. But the other good striker that I have up there, uh, Bennett, who's actually a left wing by trade. So uh, I get that he's not you know, fit to play there, but he hasn't been playing any good passes at all. I'm just going to skip this replay because I don't really care. I know that they scored. I mean, if these guys are looking to impress and try to, you know, keep a spot on the team, it's not, not working out so far for any of them. Oh, Bennett's actually played in a good ball to Dane Scarlett this time, but he's a touch isolated, so played into Brian Hill, who is definitely left-footed, but will do finesse with this right. Brian Hill, you have a future at this club. 
the last two games, what you've done, won't be forgotten anytime soon. I knew full well that he was left-footed before deciding to do a right-footed finesse outside of the box, but the placement just happened to work out, and we'll get one back. That'll be halftime. It is 2-1. I think I am going to make a couple changes at the half. Probably bring on Sun for someone else and then maybe a midfielder, but I'll let you all know when I make those changes. I've decided to make two changes. I'm going to bring on Lo Celso for Moldovan. I think Lo Celso, we're, we don't have a problem winning the ball in the midfield. We just want to make sure that we possess it and get it forward and have more of an attacking threat. And I think Lo Celso is more of an attacking threat than Moldovan. I am then also going to bring on Sun for... Uh, what's his face Bennett who wasn't doing terribly but he was not you know if he had passed the ball a little better I think Dane Scarlett would have had a few more opportunities so we'll bring on Sun to increase our attacking threat and also hopefully get him a little bit closer to that 30 goal mark for the season coming off of defending a corner we have a chance to potentially break or not they have so many guys back and we can't find the ball and now we have to defend again that Son, Jesus Christ Son just had a really poor touch, and now Hugo's had to make another save. We just can't seem to break out after any of these corners. They just keep finding a way to get the ball back in the box, and we keep conceding corners, but at least we're not conceding any goals right now. I haven't said Fagan Walcott's name too much, uh, which is, I think, good, because if I would have, it's probably because he, he would have been doing bad, but I feel like he's been solid. I've almost forgotten that. It's He's not Sanchez. Oh, Regulon, what a header. What a clearance. Come on, Brian. Oh, what a tackle. But Regulon picks it up. There should be numbers here. I messed that up so bad. I hit the wrong button. I hit circle. I meant to hit triangle. Oh, Sun's in. A chance to tie it. Has to. Yep, has to. That was always going to be a goal for Sun. And that's 29. He's one away from 30. A beautiful one-two here. Dane Scarlett with... Probably his first assist of the season, but Son's never going to miss that. Nick Pope had no shot. And that's 2-2. Uh, We're on our way to a point. And potentially another comeback from 2-0 in the second half. Can we do it twice? Twice is nice. Los Elso had it blocked. We worked that ball well. Son got in again on a 1-2, but we just could not find the final ball. I'm telling you what, I think in, we, can, we can go and win this game. We can win this game. We ha we're having the better chances in this half. Son's in. I'm just going to have a crack. It's blocked. And the chance is gone. They have the ball here in front. No one's applying pressure. But he shoots it over. They had some good uh, passing lanes there. We couldn't get in front. That was a, that was a good chance for them. Can Los also keep it in? He sure can. But he loses possession immediately. Oh, Sanchez, poor touch. That was our chance to break. And you blew it, and they'll score. Cornette's been finding himself in some good positions. They probably deserve that. I just couldn't clear the ball. And our lead, or not even the lead, our point is gone as it stands. They're going to make a substitution here. It looks like Jaka is coming off for someone else. Not sure exactly who, but we have about 10 minutes here to find the equalizer. Oh, Skip. Oliver Skip has won the ball in the attacking zone. Finish that for a goal. Oh, Skip. That, why did it have to be Skip? Oh, he doesn't even hit the net. I mean, I know he's not a a, a striker, but if you find yourself in those positions, you got to at least hit the net. Like, come on. We're going to stoppage time here. It's only going to be probably a couple minutes. Lo Celso has to be. Finish it! Oh, so close. Skip win the header. To Tanganga. To Lo Celso. To Delhi. It's blocked. That'll probably just about do it. Well, we won't be able to lift the trophy on the back of a win. If we get to lift the trophy at all. That's the whole reason I played this game. Although knowing how people in life tend to treat Tottenham Hotspur, we probably won't. But it looks like we're actually going to get to lift it. We may have lost, but we don't care because we had already mathematically sealed the title. And it looks like we're going to get to see Hugo lift the trophy. That's what we wanted to see. 
their son, probably our player of the season, probably Golden Boot winner. And here comes Hugo, the captain, who only started this game so he could do this very exact thing. Still with his gloves on, Hugo lifts the trophy and we are Premier League champions. In our first season, that's what you want to see. And I think it's well deserved. We've only lost two games so far this season, both of which I would like to point out are games that I actually played. So that does, I think, go to show that I'm not the best at this game still. So I'm not going to change the difficulty still. I'm going to keep it at world class because I think it's a good difficulty for me to play at. Sometimes it's pretty easy. Sometimes it's really difficult. But Premier League winners, season one. Our last game of the season is against Norwich, who are in 19th and have been already mathematically relegated. So the only things that are really at stake here are winning the game to get us to 100 points and being you know, kind of in a, in a class of our own when uh, you think about teams that get 100 points, there aren't many. And then also uh, Son, who I'm going to assume is going to win the Golden Boot. I don't think Mo Salah is going to score at least six goals in his final match. But um, Son getting to 30 goal, that 30 goal mark, I think would be awesome to see. So we are just going to quick sim this with the first team and see if we can get those two things accomplished. Quick simming and neither of those two things that we wanted to happen happened. Not only... Um, do we not get a goal from Sun? We get one from Lo Celso, but we also only get a draw, so we're going to end the season with 98 points, just short of that 100-point mark. I'm just going to sim through the rest of the month of May then, and if I get any important notifications or if anything interesting happens, I'll stop and let you all know. Before the season ends, I do just want to take a look at a few things regarding not only our younger players who might be out on loan, but also just take a look at kind of the overall stats at the end of the season. So Movila and some of these guys down here, we haven't been able to get out on loan yet, but they are still going up in overall a little bit. Hopefully when next season comes around, we can get them out on loan. Even Alfie Devine, who's a real person, uh, we want to get him out on loan as well. Wada, who was out on loan for pretty much the whole season, has gone up four, so that's good to see. Rusu's gone up by nine. Holy crap. I was talking earlier in the season about how sometimes the loan system can be broken. I'm really excited to see what his overall is when he returns to us. Some of our real-life players who were out on loan when the season started pretty much. Troy Parrott's a 67 overall. He'll be a good backup striker option to have around next season, probably because we'll be missing Harry Kane for a while. Jack Clark has long gone up by two. He might be a good option to change to a center attacking mid off the bench. Cameron Carter Vickers. We'll have to see with him. He's kind of getting up to that age where at you know at 25, 26 years of age, we want him to be like in the closer to the 80s. Maybe one more loan next season, but after that, I don't know. The jury's out on him still. Pape Sar, who we haven't used at all this season, has gone up to Joe Rodon went up three while alone at Leicester. That's amazing to see, and he'll be back when the season starts, so he'll be another center back option to have. That's an area we're lacking in depth. And then Ryan Cessignon, who's on loan for a whole, another season at Lazio, although I, I am thinking about recalling him um, because we're lacking depth in that position, or we might just look to sign a backup left back or right back for next season. Regulon made the most appearances this season with 59. That does not surprise me. Like I was saying, we don't have a backup left back, so he played pretty much every game almost. In terms of goals scored, we have Son leading the way. I feel like Kane probably would have been a lot closer if he hadn't gotten injured. Calvert-Lewin had an awesome season with zero assists. That's You don't see that very often. Uh, Ndombele had a great season, but again, he also got injured, so he could have had more. And then LaCelso, quite surprisingly, got 11. I didn't think he would break double digits. When it comes to assists, we have a lot of players in double digits. I think it's really cool to see our left and right backs up there with assists, even though they're defenders. But the way we use them as kind of auxiliary wingers, we expect to see numbers like that. As the season is ending, I have a bunch of players returning from loan. And then we have also Golini, who's leaving to go back to his parent club after being here on loan. I have some thoughts about him maybe returning next season. But then we have all of these players returning from loan who we may loan out next season as well. And so that's going to conclude season number one. I am looking forward to season number two, but I do want y'all's help for a quick second. I am having a lot of fun playing this series. I have no problem, you know, starting up season two right away. I did also say when I started this channel, I am looking to start up NHL, like my player career mode. So 
you know, if you want to let me know in the comments below, would you want me to just continue with this series um, into, right into Season 2? Do you want me to take a break for a little bit and do some NHL stuff? Should I kind of alternate where I do maybe one or two episodes of FIFA and then a couple episodes of NHL and kind of, you know, intermingle them? If y'all could let me know in the comments down below, I'm happy to do either. Just let me know what y'all would prefer. I am going to go ahead and end the season here, but not before I end the episode. I hope you all have enjoyed watching me struggle and succeed through Season 1 of this Tottenham Hotspur career mode. I am really looking forward to Season 2, and I hope you all are as well. So please make sure you stick around for when those episodes begin.